this is Scott Spears the first and the owner of the internet reporting from Naples Florida now as you are aware if you've been paying attention I am mobile there you go now I have it sorted out all the details about the maintenance um, preventative or what do you call it I don't even know what I'll call it it doesn't have it's an intermittent issue so it's a repair but it's going to be preventive because i'm just going to i'm going to fix everything on it and if it if it still breaks then it'll be the second time every anything had been replaced anything i replace after that or what i'm about to do is going to be the second time it's a new car it's a 30 year old new car so it's not even a car i don't know why i call it a car it's not a car this is a little charlotte okay she's christine's little cousin and I, hopefully I have a mechanic on his way here and to drive it and see if it acts up. And I said, you know, get here and we'll have a talk. I'll have a talk to her. And I'm, if you, you want to see her act up, just stop into a Lamborghini dealer and start talking to the salesperson, talk about trading and say you will trade her in or something. You will see what happened. The car won't ever run right. You won't, you'll be pushing it back to the dealership to get it into the thing. Trust me. So maybe he's doing that right now. If he takes my word for it, and then he does that, he'll find out. So I'm trying to be right, do right, and everything. I'm God bless me. I've been blessed. Okay, I can, I can, I can assure you that I am blessed, and that I deserve it. I hope that everybody gets what they deserve. I honestly can say that. I hope everybody gets what they deserve, me included. I hope that everybody gets what they deserve. They should get what they deserve. If you do good, you should get some good shit coming back. If you do bad, yeah, it's what you deserve. I can't, I don't want to say. I don't see, I just don't usually see it. somebody throwing some good shit out there and have some bad coming back all the time. This is not, you can't throw bad shit out and have good shit come back. That don't happen. Really, if you think about it, it don't make no sense if it did. Now me, this guy's here's the first, I'm not a scorekeeper. I don't keep score. I don't like, see, I did this or this and that and this is what I'm supposed to do. I don't, I've never been like that. I'm a giver. Everybody knows I'm a giver. So, this is who I am. I can't help it. I'm not doing it for any reason other than that's who I am. I can't, just like I'm a comedian, I can't help it. I tell jokes. It's like a fish can't help but swim. I can't help tell jokes and give shit people shit. <laughs> I give it away. So, I mean, that's just who I am. I can't, I can't help it. But if I was to get some back for what I gave out and it was to come back to me, like for a reason, like it was to, to testify about what now that has happened to me and tell people the truth of the story that is real then it's a good chance that in fact I'm going to be the richest man to ever walk on planet earth <laughs> I'm Scott Spears the first I am blessed okay. there's nobody better to give the, what it is that I'm going to have than to me because <laughs> first of all I'm only doing it to teach the world a lesson about buddy I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing first of all I'm going to take my nephew with me so he can witness what the fuck is happening because it is amazing looking for the amazing I'm going to try to give it all away I am trying to die penniless and I I seriously don't know if I'll be able to even do that I mean Johnny Depp cannot fuck my money up it just keeps coming in I'm the owner of the internet it is, I, I can't Nobody would ever live. If you live 10 lifetimes, you wouldn't even be able to fucking start to count it. Okay, so good thing it's digital and shit, but I just give okay, Cadillacs away all day long. I don't, that's all I do. I think it's fun. <laughs> I just like to see look at it. I like to see look at it, really. I told one dude, well, this is one guy. I don't even know why. Who act that way. This guy, he knows who he is at Kaminsky's. The partiest day of the year, the only third time I've been there in 10 years, only getting this place three times. Three times. The people I was talking to, they'd ask me where I'm from. I'd say, Cherry Hill. They'd say, how long have you been here? I'd say, 10 years. They'd look at me like, how come we ain't ever seen you here? Because uh, 10 years in Cherry Hill, I ain't never been to Kaminsky's. They would have known if I was there because I stand out like a sore thumb on my chest. I just can't help it. Just, like, I'm the coolest motherfucker in the place every place I go to is that I can't help it it is what it is I don't pride myself on that I don't tell people that all the time 
It just happens to be true. I have to own that. I can't tell you it's not true, then I'll be lying. So what it is that I do, I try to make everybody comfortable around me because I really don't need haters. I don't like haters. I don't. It's not that I hate haters because it doesn't be sound like it's a, like I'm condoning their their actions. So I deal with them. I take it as a as a compliment or some shit. They say if you don't have haters, you're doing something wrong. I got haters. I don't focus on them. But I don't want haters. I don't want people to be able to to, to like hate on me for nothing. I figured if I all the money I'm gonna have, if I can try to give it away, he can hate me for that. So I gave this guy a Cadillac. He didn't do nothing for me. I was just doing really good. He's cleaning up. He's a bar. Uh, like what do they call it? A busboy. Yeah, I, I I did that. It was my, my first job. I know it is. <laughs> I've been working since I was 14. If you call it work, I'm really I've never had to work a day in my life. I say it. that's when I'm doing my computer shit because I ain't work. I mean, I love it. So that, that's one of my philosophies. A restaurant business, I, I know because I grew up at the Napa Sultan. I spent six years in my life doing it. You know, I love that too. It's fine. It's like people. I have a good time. I don't cook. I, don't, I like being around people because you know, restaurant people are. Are fun. That's uh, I think this happens to be my kind of people. And I don't cook, so I need to be near or in a restaurant if I'm gonna have some food. Because I don't, I don't, I've never, I don't think I'm, I'm not sure if I've ever cooked a meal in my life. However, this guy, um, I wrote him out a voucher for a free Cadillac. I said, "Here's a Cadillac. What's your favorite color?" Like I tell all the time. I don't know. It may have been third or fourth Cadillac. Or whatever, but he throws it back at me. I just said, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> I said, I, you can hold on to that. I would hold on to anything to hurt you. But I said, um, here, here's here's two dollars. I gave him cash money as, as a, his consolation prize for not accepting the free Cadillac from the richest man he'll ever meet in his life. And he he hit, he throws the two dollars back at me. I get, that's worthless. <laughs> I didn't owe this man a dime. I called him a man. He was a child. I looked him dead in his face, and I'm serious as shit. I said, you're going to tell your grandchildren one day that you turned down a Cadillac from Scott Spears the first. And they're going to tell you, they're going to say, you mean Scott Spears the first, the owner of the internet? <laughs> you're going to say, yeah. <laughs> and that's true. <laughs> it's going to happen. And that is the kind of shit I look forward to. Just... Uh, this is a story to be continued. This is Scott Spears the First, the owner of the internet, over and out.